All right, what are we talking about? You thief wanted of, to uh, talk about the thief of joy. joy. Yeah, but before we do, uh, something I have to tell you about or ask you, I guess. So the hermits, we were chatting about like season ten because it's coming someday, and we were thinking like, hey, what if we change things up for season ten and do something a little different, bring some new hype in, and we started tossing around the idea of like, what if we, what if we brought some new people on board, like into hermitcraft, and your name, your name actually came up. Did it? Yeah, it did. So. So we've been talking, and as a group, we want to officially invite you to join us on Hermitcraft Are you season being ten. For, is this for real? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you would you like to join us for season ten? I'm so nervous telling you about this. You, Why are we? Recording you better say this? yes. This is amazing. There's so many cuss words I want to say out of joy. Is this for real, dude? Are you? You're not. You're yeah, no, this. it's for real. Like the entire group decided like we'd love to have you join the group. Oh for my season god! 10. Uh, yes, yes, it's yes, a yes, yes, please. It's a yes. All right. That's awesome, dude. Hold on, wait. We're gonna be playing freaking Hermitcraft together. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is this is is. Hold on, I got. Am I? A, hold no, on. No, it's real. It's real. Like like As we. The, the, it was legit. Like we like had a, a discussion about potential people, and your name was in the list, and we voted. And so now you're gonna go back and say he's interested, and you guys are gonna keep talking. Yeah, they they asked me to ask you if you would be willing to join the group. And if I say yes, this is it, or are you guys gonna go deliberate? Somewhere? No, if you say yes, you're in. Shut up. Se season 10. It's not starting for a while, uh, but when we start season 10, you will be announced as a new member of Hermitcraft if you uh, accept the challenge. <laughs> oh, my God. This is um, pretty exciting. Dude. I don't I don't I don't. Fully... I knew you were going to say yes. I don't well, know why I was acting all nervous, but. Well, no, I, I it's not like it's weird. I, there's this weird thing I'm in where I, it's not like I don't believe you, but I don't think this is real. <laughs> no. Does that make sense? Dude, like, it, like the entire group wants you to join. Welcome back to the show. There's no telling where we'll go. So come and share a laugh on the Imp and Skiz podcast. That clip. That was a long time ago. <laughs> I can't even remember how long. A couple months. I like like two, three months ago, something like that. This Man. is it, it that was a long time been ago. Been holding on to this nugget oh. for a long time. Uh, it's how hard was that? It, it's been tough. And in fact, there's a lot of fun stories as to <laughs> And so here's the deal. We have to keep in mind that in case anybody doesn't know what we're talking about, uh, Skiz is now a, a hermit on Hermitcraft. And, and this is very yep. exciting. I'm very, I'm very blessed, Crazy. very happy. I can't believe it's happening. This is great. I mean, this is going to be a fun podcast because we just actually released this morning, which a, a, a week from, uh, what is this? This will be six days ago six by days, the time they watch this. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Six days ago it dropped. But we're recording on the day that the first the episode one came of season 10. <laughs> and uh, it's been a long time in the making. That's a bit of an understatement. But more importantly, when we take a peek at that clip, like you said, it was months ago. I've been yeah. having to hang on to this. And so uh, years ago, I developed this thing. And you, I've talked to you about it where... If I don't want to have a tell and somebody's asking me a question, people ask leading questions to try to get a reaction, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, years and years ago is when people started asking, like, are you going to be the next season of Hermitcraft? And I said, every time I get asked that, I'm just going to say, bah. and I was like, because one day it might be true. And I might have to keep, I might have to keep it, you know, private for a little bit. And when you ask me then, I'm going to say, bah. and so that's been my thing. So I got to actually use it <laughs> for a long time now, like yeah. streaming people as it. And so it's been, uh, it's been a fun journey. Especially but. as news that there was two hermits joining. Yes. Uh, then people started to speculate. And, and I mean, I, I swear like 90% were guessing you and Joel, which I don't understand. I don't get it. How the internet sleuths like piece that together so well. So well. Uh, that, that, like they were, they were specifically Skiz and Joel. And they were convinced, yeah. like ninety percent of the guesses were saying that, and I'm like, wow, how yeah. did they, how did they do that? And so then you obviously were getting barraged even harder, yeah, as people were guessing that it was going to be you, yeah, uh, being one of them. So I can't imagine how hard that would have been. Yeah, you had a story from uh, TwitchCon. Oh my gosh. Yeah, where where somebody said this something. Is a, this is a good story. You want to tell? You want me to? You tell. Of okay, course. this is a fun story. Uh, we are about to walk into. Um, into the room for the like a the hermit meetup, right? It mm. was like the, I don't know, I don't know. What to, it was a, it was a signing place or whatever, right. right? But and so since I've sort of been categorized as an honorary hermit until now, it's official, which is nice. Uh, there was sort of like I was just with you guys, and and I now have enough following to where when we're at conventions like these, there is a very decent amount of um, gravitation towards me because I've gotten that big. That I can't, there's no way to say it and not sound arrogant, but that's what it is. <laughs> Um, turns out I'm extremely handsome. I mean, for might as well lean all the way in. No, right. 
I um I walk in we're, as we're walking in and somebody yells. <laughs> this is this is one of my favorite stories. Somebody yells, so Skiz, you're gonna be Hermitcraft season 10? And I can just play it off because I'm very used to it. Gemini Tay cannot. <laughs> she she cannot. I want to play poker with her and take all of her money because her <laughs> poker face is the worst. Her poker face was this. <laughs> That's what she did. She just starts laughing. It was so funny, man. Cause she was right in front of me too, and I'm like, "Keep it together, Jeb." She's like, "I just, I can't know secrets." It was, it was so cute. I loved it. Yeah, it's, it's been tough, man. Cause you know, knowing, knowing for as long as I have, because I obviously knew before, Even before I did. I yeah, I told you obviously yeah. because the Hermes had multiple meetings to talk about potential candidates, and and your your name bubbled to the top along with Joel, and and like that whole. I was, I was so nervous during that time of telling you like yeah. i was so nervous and i don't know why it's, it's not like i thought you were gonna say no you know it was just like i was holding on to it for so long i was nervous that i was gonna like screw up uh. giving you the information you know what i mean <laughs> like, so, how do you screw yeah, that I up know. i don't know so herbis got together and decided we never want to talk to you again uh, yeah so yeah, i don't know how anyways we have a podcast to record i don't now. know how i want to screw that up but anyway i was nervous telling you and and i guess just super excited knowing you know like this is this is a big deal you know like yeah. hermitcraft is is a big deal and this this could open a lot of new new doors for yeah. you and new chapters in your life and and stuff it certainly has in mine you know so like i'm excited to see where this goes for you now it's very much a big deal in fact um i i just tweeted out that and, and i want to be very clear this this podcast is not all about skiz being a hermit i want to talk about what this week was like recording yeah. with everybody for my yeah, experience, I'd love your, to hear, experience. I'd love yeah. to hear your thoughts on and your yours. first experiences of seeing how hermitcraft like works yes <laughs> you know yeah exactly mean? very good very good yeah so uh the, this uh, two days ago uh, is when I tweeted out. So Joel tweeted out first. So Joel and I actually talked. We're like, how do we, you know, how do you want to do this? And there was a bunch of different ideas. And then we decided, why, why don't, Joel, why don't you tweet first? And then I'll tweet several hours later. He's like, sounds good. And his tweet was really funny. And then um, I went to do my tweet and I did it at like just after 11 because I had to leave the computer. And uh, it kind of screwed things up for yeah. you a little bit. <laughs> Tell us yeah. that story. Well, I had, I had hit you up before I started. I was streaming that day and I knew it was only going to be like a couple hour stream. And so I was like, when are you going to announce? Because I wanted to know if I would be in the middle of my stream and get bombarded in chat with, right. you know, Skiz just announced. Um, and so I asked you, like, when are you going to do it? And you said, oh, it's going to be like noon. And so I was like, okay, I'll be done streaming by then. So I'll just tease it, you know. I'll just tell them, like, oh, then you guys will find out who the second member is at this time. Yeah. Because you told me you were going to tweet that time. Yeah. So then I was like, okay, guys, you know, I got to go. It was the end of my stream. I got to go, you know, and I, I, um, I did a raid and. Uh, and I told him, you know, but hey, keep your eye on on Twitter or X, whatever, for the next, you know, next in 44 minutes, you're gonna get yep. word on who the next hermit is. And I hit the raid button and I raided Martin. And uh, so, you know, Martin's saying hello, and I'm kind of like saying hi to Martin and stuff. And right then, everybody's like, "Is announced!" And I'm like, oh, "Come wow. on, I missed him by like five seconds. I could have, <laughs> if I hung in there for five more seconds, bad now. they would have been like, "Is announced!" And then I could, I would have stayed live, and we would have talked about it. You know? Yeah, you know. <laughs> and so that's what's interesting about this is that I, I want. There's a lot going on, and this is going to be fun because we're going to talk about our week, and you'll, it'll make more sense as we talk about what the week's been like. It'll make more sense as to why did I jump it by, like, 55 minutes or an hour or whatever it was. Well, tw noon wasn't a hard time for me. It was just like, that's why I said like noon or something like that. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we'll cover that in a second. But the reason I brought it up is because that was that was less than two days ago, right? Mm -hmm. If you think about it, it's less than 48 hours ago. Uh, my video dropped two hours ago, two, three, about three hours ago, maybe, something like that. When I tweeted, I was at 87,900 subs, which was cool. And now, what do we have? Oh, yeah, we have, yeah, we have, I, have I have your uh, live sub count up on the uh, teleprompter. Yeah. And uh, it's at 95,000, 1,000. <laughs> yeah, so you made that joke. <laughs> I wasn't going to do it. I knew. I, just, yeah, I, just, so I had to get there first. It was know? good. I, was, I really wasn't going <laughs> to. So Impulse accidentally earlier when it was, in my earlier, I mean... A couple minutes ago. A couple minutes ago, it was at like ninety four thousand four hundred. And you're all it's at ninety four thousand four thousand. And then I just started <laughs> having fun with you. But here we are, ninety five thousand one hundred. Yeah. And uh it, it's been it's fun. You know, I'm enjoying mm -hmm. this ride and that's that's what I'm going to continue to do. It's just silver play bud, man. It's coming. You get one. Yep. Point to this Getting one because I can actually see it. Oh yeah, this one's washed out. Yeah. We were cranked the lighting today. <laughs> uh yeah. Yeah, that's the infant skiz one, man. Yep. You're gonna have one with just your name on it. Yeah. 
That's going to be feel cool. good, isn't it? Yeah, it'll be good. Uh, but let's talk about it. Let's let's talk about uh, the week and what it has been like. A lot of preparation going into this season. I mean, yeah. it's it's Ooh. not we don't just get together and hit record. I mean, there's there's and, and we don't like over plan. It's more like yeah. just zonage. There's and, a reason why I've barely streamed in the last two weeks. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. Because it is a lot to it's a lot to get ready for a brand new season. Yep. And uh, yeah, the planning, the, the definitely the planning, the meetings. The, the Hermitcraft meetings were were longer, mm -hmm. you know, as we tried to figure out how to kick off the season in a spectacular way, which I, I really do now in hindsight feel like it did. Like yeah. there is, you see, you wouldn't know this because it's your first season, but now this is my seventh sort of. I started in season three. So um, it, it feels different. Like the vibe feels, it actually feels different than every other season that we've started and I, and I can't really put my finger on it. It just feels like there's this excitement of, of togetherness. It, it almost like, Ugh, almost like, awesome. um, it's like, I would say, we, I don't want to say we lost our way, but like we started as a group of friends playing a video game together and then we got attention and then it turned into a job for, for most of us. Right. You know what I mean? It became our full-time thing. Yeah. So then it became something that we had to, um, really scrutinize the way, we did things in it, from a business sense, you know, are we doing the things that YouTube wants from us for their algorithm and stuff? And so we started thinking about all that stuff. And what we lost was some of our connections with each other. Some of the, some of the, the roots of why Hermitcraft was so good was that we're just a bunch of friends playing a game together and having a goof, you know? Yeah. And now all of a sudden we're like, Oh, well we got to build the biggest mega structure, you know, because at the time, like, the YouTube was pushing all these, I built this in a thousand days of Minecraft or whatever, right? Like, and so then we started having to compete with these mega builds, which who knows half of them were probably cheating it in anyway. But, like, so then we started <laughs> kind of, like, feeling like we had to do more. We had to be more spectacular, bigger builds and in, in, in grander scales and all that kind of stuff. And what that did was it, it kind of took time away from us just hanging out and having a goof. Yeah. Um, and I think what happened, I think the catalyst for, for the change was covering Doc's perimeter with grass. Do you know the story? Yeah, I do. Yeah, so Doc Doc had, like, excavated a giant hole in the ground yeah. for his base, and we decided as a goof to cover it with grass so it looked like the hole wasn't even there. And it was a mega project. Like, it took days of placing black grass blocks, which doesn't make good content. Yeah. Like, it, it makes a nice little, but like, the conversation time lapse. was great. Yeah, but, yeah, so there were there placing blocks for two days, mindlessly placing blocks, which means we're just going to hang out and chat. And as we're hanging out in chat, just we, we just realized that like how well we all get along and we really, really like each other and just talking about nothing yep. was was super fun. Yep. And we're like, we need to do more of this. We need to put more of this on camera because this is what this is what the the draw is. That we're a group of friends that just have fun playing a video game yep. together and forget all the business stuff. Like that'll as long as we're having fun, hopefully that will take care of itself. Yeah. So we kind of came into this season with a different kind of mantra of we want to focus more on that, you know? Sure, I'm still going to build a cyberpunk city with BWO, which is going to be a mega build, but yeah. there's going to be plenty of time and and focus put on the hanging out and the goofs. And I think yeah, as we recorded the episode one this week, like I could tell that, I could feel that. Like, Good. like I mean, I had so many different pairings of, of collaborations in my video that I was like, yeah, I, I'm like, this is great. I can't wait to, to get every single hermit on the server to do more with. And instead of worrying about like, oh, when am I going to start placing blocks for my mega build? You yeah, know? no, I, I I think that's very healthy, me personally. And this is it's you, it's the perfect time for me to come in because I'm not a builder, <laughs> I, and, and I am. I got to tell you, like, I want to be like very honest in regards to you know me. I don't I don't really get nervous about things, and I don't feel like anxiety about these types of things. I just don't. I did this time a little bit, and and I'll be. And here's what's weird, right? I almost there's a big there's a little voice in me that's saying skids stop talking don't <laughs> don't share what you're about to share but months before um, the invite came um, I started to feel like it might come now for the record that's been the story for years and that's okay um, and when it didn't that's okay you know what I mean but I stopped I started thinking it might this was the first time I was like I, I would I'm actually more than fifty percent sure for some reason because I've I've at this point collabed with almost every hermit mm -hmm. it's been nothing but wonderful. And uh, and and I I think it might come. And all of a sudden, I was like, uh, then I started to get nervous. I'm like, I can't, I can't, I can't do what they do. I mm -hmm. just I can't do what they do. I like I look at what you guys build and stuff, and I just can't do it. And I I, I wish I could. Right now, it has its place. Um, it's it's 
it has its place to not be a perfect builder, right? And we found that was my superpower in the Guess That Build series <laughs> that we did because my builds, Grian thought I was like purposely making really funny, awful art for the sake of the show. I'm not that smart. I literally was like, no, this is the best I could do, but it was really funny, you know? <laughs> and it really kind of drove it. Well, now it's in a world where it's like, that that doesn't, that doesn't relate, it doesn't transcribe. It works in Guess That Build, it doesn't work over here. And I don't want to stress out about this, but and I and I don't want to like try to become the world's greatest builder, but I would like to become a little bit better than totally awful. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Right now I'm yeah. rocking totally awful, and so that's going to be uh, kind of a growing experience for me. And and I even I you know Tango and I are good friends, and I kind of shared some of this with him. He's like, dude, you're going to get better. It just it comes with time. That's it. it just, like yeah. anything else, it takes reps. Yep. And, and he's right, and I get that. Uh, but it's been very, you know, very nerve wracking. And so I've been trying to piece together what I'm going to do. And I realized, okay, I need to be okay with the fact that I want to be better at building. I cannot let it consume me. If I do, then the person that these beautiful hermits asked to be on the server will cease to exist. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but they did not. First of all, nobody wanted me from a building skills. Uh, they wanted me on because I get along with people. I yeah. can create stories. I can improvise. I'm, I, I, I will admit I, I'm very confident in my ability to be quick with the words. I like that. And I feel blessed for that. If I allow this overwhelming feeling I have of how ter like to consume me, the being a bad builder, if it consumes me the way it has the capacity to, uh, the person you guys asked to be on the server will not be on the server. It'll just be somebody who's just trying to get. So I don't see what I'm saying. I'm yeah. trying to find that balance. And I know what I want to do. And and by this time, the video has been out for six days and what I want to build, I know I want my bases to always be something cerebral. I want them to be something that make you think and make you wonder and, and just make you stop. That's why I'm doing Maslow's Pyramid. And each layer is going to be dedicated to that 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 uh, layer of the, the that need layer, whatever you want to call it. And, and that's what it's going to be, right? What it's going to look like exactly, I don't know. I just know I'm going to do that. So that's mm -hmm. what I'm going to do. I already know what I want to do for next season, right? There's all these things. <laughs> that's what I want to do. And Who that's, said you're that's getting good. invited back to next season? That's a, there's, a, there's some presumption You know, every here. season we reevaluate re <laughs> the a, cast, right? No, you don't. No, we don't. <laughs> uh, but uh, there, is, um, there is some presumption, obviously. But, but in any case, my point being that that's what I know I want to do. And now it's time to do it. And that's when the, it's just the brakes just slam on. I yeah. get in creative and I'm just like, it's like my brain thinks there's maybe four blocks in Minecraft. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> unbelievable, man. And so I was like, I'm just going to commit. So I played around. I got some things done, but I'm going to have to find a way to just have fun with people. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's good. Cause that's why we brought you on. Yeah. Was to, uh, knowing that this is going to be a season of, of more, more just hanging out and having fun and goofing and shenanigans and pranks and, and who knows? Probably wars. Seems like that happens every season. Yeah, you know um, that you would be a perfect fit for for to be like a, a catalyst in a lot of that. And and also, um, and I I've been I've been doing a little bit of reading on the Reddit. I don't know if you have since you got announced, mm -hmm. um, but there's been a lot of people pointing out that that you're a great leader. And when it comes to you know these these storylines that will develop, um, you you could possibly be in a, in a leadership type of role in, in driving you know, whatever storyline or, or shenanigans happen, you know what I mean? So people are looking could, to see could if be. that's something. I understand that that's going to be something that must be very strange to think of as somebody that's coming in new. Brand new, yeah. yes. So, hey, welcome, Skiz. Lead the group that you just joined. You know what I mean? Right. Like that, that's that's too much. But um, I know you, and it won't take very long I, but before the thing, you'll be comfortable. <laughs> it's going to be – so, and this is where – and I'm going to tread very – there's not a chance ever I would ever talk about what we talk about in the, the Hermitcraft meetings. But there was an interesting moment several weeks ago that we were discussing something. And I've been a fly on the wall because that's for the first, actually it was, may have been my first meeting. Uh, and my goal is just to fly. And I do this in my real world too. You have to earn your voice, right? You have to earn your voice. If, if, if I come off like a competent leader, I'm very flattered that people think that. And, and if I actually have that, and I do think I have that. I feel blessed and all that. But it doesn't matter. You can't walk into a brand new place and be like, okay, well, this, this is how we're going to do it. That's just, that's not a thing. Right. So uh, I want to earn my voice and I'm going to do that by not talking. That If I start talking right away, that's not earning your voice. So I'm just going to listen and get acclimated with everybody. And you guys were all having a, um, a conversation about something, just, you know, just leveling. This is what groups do. And um, X actually said, I'd like to hear what Skiz has to say about <laughs> this. And I'm like, uh oh. And I, so I actually said, I, and I was like, well, I appreciate you giving me a, 
some time here. I really think I should earn my voice, but if I'm being called out for this, I'm, I'm happy to do it. Mm -hmm. And it was a good moment because uh, it seemed that what I said, it seemed to me to have been well received. I think that that was my first acceptance as a hermit. It wasn't the invite. It was that moment. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because there was, um, there is a propensity for this, lot to talk over one another and it didn't happen in that moment and that was very interesting <laughs> to me i was very that was and i'm not i'm not trying to make more of it than it was but it was very cool i think honestly it was, i think nobody talked over me just out of politeness to be honest but i also think it was well received i don't remember what i said but i was i think it was well received and that that was when i felt the most yeah. accepted was that moment i had a, I had a grand ear to ear as you were talking and i just knew i knew the words were hitting you know like what you were saying everybody was just like yes Yes, this is why this is why we brought this guy in. That's He's cool. got some some insight. And and that's the other thing, you know, it's it's nice to bring in fresh perspectives, you know, cuz yeah, we're having fun, but there is there is a time where we all get a, a little bit jaded if you will over you know spending so many years together. And so it's it's nice to have, you know, cuz we we're, we're just in it for that long and and it's like we see things a certain way because we've been conditioned. Mm -hmm. And now we bring in two two new people who new people, haven't yeah. been conditioned and they're seeing things for the first time. And now your perspective is going to be different than ours because, like I said, we, we've we been through it and we've been conditioned and jaded or whatever. And now you you can shed some some new light on it like, like oh, well, you guys are talking about this like it's a bad thing. But the way I see it, it's a good thing. You know yeah. what I mean? We, 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 we're like, oh, you're. You're right. Why have we been yeah. thinking that's bad when, you know, I mean, same thing like, oh, trying something new is hard because we've been doing it this way for so long yeah. that it feels wrong to do something different. And uh, you and you and Joel co will probably come in and be like, actually, let's 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 tr lean into different. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, that's the that's the vibe. Yeah, no, I agree. And it was it was a, a wonderful moment. But I am. So there is um, I'm very excited about all these collaborations I get to have with some of these people and and. Uh, I reached out to Tango. This is a fun bit that I'm doing on mine is that there's, so here in America, there is a insurance company called progressive and it does this don't become your parents thing. <laughs> and I was uh, just watching TV and that commercial came on and I was like, Oh my goodness, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to come onto this server and I'm going to cause a lot of problems, not purposely, just organically. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do, I'm going to break a lot of server etiquette rules, not really knowing. I'm like, I'm going to make a bit out of it. So I asked Tango to be the guy from Progressive, basically, and, you know, kind of pop in and be like, listen, we don't really do things that way and whatever, but we were going to fabricate these moments. They were going to be so unusually over the top um, etiquette breaking and then kind of play into that. And he was all game for it. And so we recorded our segment and it was really funny. Well, during the recording of that segment, it was he was like, we had this miscommunication and it was like one of the funniest things I've ever seen. I'm like, now I'm adding blooper reels. You know what I mean? So that was what I meant when I was like, I'm no, I don't want to overthink the season. I want the server to reveal itself so I can start to piece together certain things I'm going to do. I never ever would have thought about doing a blooper reel until a blooper happened. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so that's when I was like, okay, then I was like, maybe, maybe I'm actually going to do something called skiz bits throughout this season where I try to do at least one bit with every person on the server. That's a tall order. Yeah. But that could be really, really cool. So I I find myself in a sandbox here that I'm having uh, so much fun with because I like to, I mean, you are animated, you know, we've done animated shorts. And when mm -hmm. I'm writing those, I'm I just, I'm in my element, dude. Yeah. I'm so happy. I'm right there. And so now as certain things happen on the server, I'm like, oh, dude, that, that's a, that's a good opportunity for a bit. Let me pitch it to this person and see what they think. And I watched that this morning before we started yeah. recording. That was funny. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> Tango funny. just popping in out of nowhere. Yeah. No, skis. Yeah. Far too many sides. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yes. Don't be that guy. <laughs> oh, that's, that's good. good. It's a funny bit. Yeah. And uh so what was it like day, the first day of recording? What was it what what was how are you how are you feeling when it was like it's time. Everybody log on. We're going to circle up and do the intro and here okay. we go. This is a fair question because there I had other dynamics at play. Um this is what most people don't know is that uh, I also I, I well some a lot of people are gonna, who are new to me they don't know I also work a full time job and I'm very 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 busy um, with that full time job but what's more is that so I can give Hermitcraft like everything I want to give it I'm taking a sabbatical from work so I can at least give the beginning of the season everything so I'm take we get sabbaticals every seven years I'm taking a sabbatical from work. Um, so that I can give it my everything. So that's good. But the problem is the two weeks leading up before sabbatical are insane. And so yeah. now the 
busy work has got and now it's even that much worse because I've got to get a lot of people in, in motion or whatever. So that's one piece. So I've been scatterbrained leading up. So to your sabbatical's not started yet, even the season started. Not started. I still have yeah, another a bit of a one week. more week. Okay. So uh, a week from today will be the sabbatical, which is good. Uh, and then uh, I also had to have my roof redone. And I also have five dogs. Of course you did. Yeah. So so the roof, like the the, <laughs> the roof being redone was scheduled for a long time. And it was like, oh. I can't, I, it's, we had, it had to happen. Yeah. It was a very expensive job. It was a very long job. And I got, it got to a point where I was hopeful it was going to be done by the day of recording. And when I started to realize it wasn't going to, I was like, I called the PM. I'm like, I need you guys to stop working at one o'clock. Like that's, that's a ter I used to be a roofer as a kid. Mm -hmm. That's a very hard, that's very hard work and they're on a schedule and I felt really bad. I was like, if this means like your guys are getting paid less, tell me what it is and I will pay them the difference. I just, I, I, I need you to stop working at this time. And I, I gave him a background days before. Um, but in any case it was undoable. But what it also meant is that it delayed them even further. So after that first recording, I couldn't record at all for days because it was just banging, 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 mm -hmm. banging. So I'm sitting there, dude, I'm on work meetings at home. I can barely hear the people I'm talking to. And my dogs are, woo, woo, they're going nuts. I'm like, this is just not an environment conducive for creating material. So anytime I was going to do any sort of filming, it was like way later at night trying to squeeze those in. It was mm -hmm. just like the most hectic time. But the roof is done. And uh, in one more week, I'll be on sabbatical. And I'll get to live like, like you and everybody oh. else for a little bit just to see what it's like. It'll be cool. Oh. It'll be cool. All right, yeah. Yeah, I, I remember I, I did that. I, I, I was when I was still working full time, I had a sabbatical and I took my sabbatical mm -hmm. and I said, I'm going to I'm going to see what life would be like if I was a full time content creator. That messed me up, bro. Yeah. yeah good luck. Because yeah. after that, that two months was over, yeah. uh, I went back to work and I was a sad boy. Yeah. I, I was like, I well, I know what I want to do with my life now. Yeah. I need to figure out how to just do full-time content creation from here on out. So, um, I, I, I got a feeling that's coming for you. I, uh, you know, here's, what's interesting. Here's the difference in dynamics between the two of us, right? You did that. Um, and if I remember correctly, you weren't really making any, I hate to make this about money, but let's, let's be honest here. You weren't really making any real, um, noticeable money at the time you made the decision to try your sabbatical, uh, to try your hand during sabbatical, is that right? The if first, I'm going back, the first sabbatical, first one, yeah. yeah. The first, I'm because I, yeah. I remember this, you're and you worked the whole sabbatical, and yeah, and that was that was admirable because sabbaticals are something that we really look forward to, especially that first one, yeah. You know? Yeah, it's supposed to be a time to, to recharge your batteries and and just kick back, take take cruises, go on vacations, whatever, or veg, whatever on the couch, you want to do, whatever, yeah. whatever it's going to take to recharge your battery. And instead, I I worked just a different type of work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, I remember my wife was not too happy with me about that because yeah. she knew it was supposed to be about, you know, taking time off. And I and I kind of doubled down on the YouTube thing. You know, I, I, I'm I'm pretty sure my first sabbatical is when I invented the item sorter. That's, mm. that's you know, pretty, pretty well known now. Yeah. Um, and so, like, you know, good things came from all that extra time. But, uh, yeah, I had to give up my sabbatical for it. And uh, but. It was, it was, you know, that's what I wanted to do. It, well, I, I so, wanted to give it a go, see what so could happen. The reason it's such a different dynamic is because you did it when there was no real actual money coming in at that time, which is like that, that had the capacity to, so to come back and be like, no, this is now, now I don't, I can't focus on work because I only want to do this speaks volumes for how much you obviously love the content creation world. Mm -hmm. I say that because given how far I, the, I've come in the content creation world, Without even being a hermit, I can. It can be argued I'm I'm making a substantial <clears throat> extra scratch, if you will, on the side, and it's been it's been necessary because when you have a kid on college on the southern nation, it's been it's been very necessary and needed. So that's happening without even trying to you know do. So I am, I am I am very meaning this. I'm already at work being like I don't I don't care. You know what I mean? I don't I don't care anymore. Like we've talked I've yeah. talked this to death and I don't need to get into it again, but it's like I not that I'm not doing my job, but it's like because I know the best what I think is the best way to do what I think is the best way to do it and we're not doing it that way, then I officially don't care anymore because you guys are going to mess it up and I don't care. And so that's it's not good, right? So now all I want to do is focus on the content creation world. If I'm going to go off on a sabbatical and I'm going to give this everything for the next handful of weeks until I have to come back to work, I'm going to be honest with you. 
I am really, really afraid of the version of Skiz that exists after sabbatical. Yeah. I don't know what it's going to be like, so I've decided, you know, I'm just not going to worry about it right now. <laughs> I'll, yeah. let, I'll let that day come. That I'm bridge. going to enjoy this ride, and I'm just going to... I'm just gonna have a, a great time yeah. with these guys. So you made it. You made it through the week, even though you. you every time you hit record, there was pounding on oh your your God. roof. Oh my goodness! I, yeah. I, like, luckily, at least that first stint, the first like three hours, four hours on the server, you you told them to to, I, to bail for the day, yeah. and that was clear. And and watching your video, I think a lot of the content that you you had in your video was from those hours. It had to be, yeah. Which, uh, I'm glad you're around so I could punch you into the Oh, cave. yeah, then Nimbles comes and kills me right away. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. Like, that was another thing that was kind of fresh and new for the season was Green introduced Demise, which is this game we play to see who can be the last man standing. Last, the last hermit to die wins the game. And so now we have this pressure of, like, oh, we're starting the season with nothing, no armor, no, no sword, no nothing, and can we live? Because everybody knows uh, that's played har Minecraft knows surviving your first night is hard yeah like when yeah. you start the game with nothing you better be ready you better you better have your wits about you because the first night can come and all the monsters come out and, and you're good luck and so <laughs> good luck and so it was like there was some tension right away that kind of gave that tension of like okay now we got to be careful and um yeah green decided just to be green he's a, you know he likes shenanigans and goofing and uh decided that we would play a game that Doing something you're not supposed to do in Minecraft, which is dig straight down. Yeah. Um, and, and so when he said it, my mind's like, well, this is a really bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> but we're creators. Uh, and, you know, uh, you know, the, the yes and was coming out. And, yep. and so we don't we all dove in. OK, it's probably going to kill one of us or all of us, you know, but here we go. And of course it was me. <laughs> yeah, of course it was me. <laughs> Uh, it was a weird. It was First a, death of the season. Yeah. yeah. And, I and love it's like, that. See, it's it's weird for me because you know I don't like being bad at anything, and so <laughs> and so it kind of makes me look bad. Like, oh, this guy doesn't know how to Minecraft. He he died nah. first out of twenty five people or whatever we got, and uh, <laughs> but it was just a misunderstanding because I thought we were going and we weren't going. I guess like I was watching Scar dig straight down, so I was like, I guess we're going. So I'm going, and then Green was being i don't know I, I couldn't tell if he was going or not and so i kept digging and i fell into a cave and and uh i was met with some very unruly uh friends down there oh that's right because you got shot you didn't yeah. fall to your death you that, yeah i you fell in it took a half my health and then and then immediately i was getting picked out <laughs> by a, a skeleton with a bow and anyway uh, there was no escaping that it was it was death but See, and I was off uh, doing the caving expedition that Ren had also put together. Also in danger. Like, you guys were in, oh, in a big time. cave. Oh, big yeah. time. And what's great, so Ren put this thing together where uh, there's going to be all these teams. They're going to get together, and then everybody's going to go their separate ways. The teams go this way, separate, whatever. And uh, we're going to come together after all this mining, 90 minutes of mining. And at the end of it, who we're just going to share it all. But if you die during it, you're out. You don't get a part of the cut, which I thought was pretty brilliant. I thought that sounds mm -hmm. cool. But more than that, it was also an opportunity to, you know, go work with some some new people and stuff. Yeah. And I have obviously worked with Tango a lot. I worked with, with Cleo a, a good deal. Never really worked with Doc that much. Zero percent worked with Vintage Beef, and they, that, that was my team. And w it, they were just delightful, man. Yeah. They were delightful. I've never I've never gotten to work with Vintage Beef, and, and I was instantly like, dude, this guy's humor, like, I'm in. I'm in. Like, we, I, I, I get him. And we have a very similar approach and delivery and all that. So I really enjoyed that. And he had, <laughs> anyways, I'm not going to get into Big Salmon, but that was a whole thing that was just so funny. It was, uh, anyways, my point being this we went in there to get some ores and we're going to share it with, and what we ended up doing was, was growing very real uh, friendships and everything. And there was a part of it that I left in my video because it meant a lot to me. Um, you know, Cleo's got that amazing laugh. She just like what that that mm -hmm. like uncontrollable laugh that she has. And uh, I I don't know. I I did something that made her laugh. I don't know what I did. I made some sort of sound or something. It's I don't know, but she likes it. And I did it, and then she giggled. And all she said it wasn't that big of a deal, but all she said was, "Excuse, I'm so glad you're here." And that meant a lot. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm like, I'm, I'm going to actually, I'm going to leave that in my video. I know that was just for me, but I'm going to leave that in my video because that was just like a really, uh, a very genuine, genuine, like that, what she said had no context with what was going on, which is indicative that what she said was purely authentic and genuine. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It was just something she was feeling at the time. And I was, I was, I was into it. 
<laughs> I was really into it, so that was cool. I found myself just wanting to play. You know, and the, did you feel that? Like you just want to yeah, play. You just want to play and just and just get a bunch of stuff done and all the early game stuff and just collect and and grow and and whatever. And uh, I found myself like getting on and just hitting record and just playing for like an hour or two, and then realizing, well, I, I didn't actually like make content. I was just playing. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and so I'd like drop the drop the two hour clip in my video feed, and I'm looking to see. You just look at the audio file mm -hmm. and you're looking to see, like, did I talk? Did somebody else talk? I got them all split up, you know? Like, yeah. I, mine, my mic is on one line. Me and too. if anybody talks to me, it's on another audio track. And the game sounds are on another audio yep. track. So if I come up on a, you know, something that's loud, like a, a cow pen, I can turn it down. Yep. So it's not overwhelming, stuff like that. So I, I just look at all that and I'm like, no, no talking. I don't <laughs> think I can do anything with this clip. And I scan through it and I'm all, oh, but you... You made a zombie farm. You made a cow farm. <laughs> you made a sheep farm. You made this, that, and the other. Dude, maybe remember how to be a content creator. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I made zero content out of it. I just was playing Minecraft just and playing forgot. Minecraft, yeah. It's been a month and a half, man, Like we, since I've recorded an actual Herbicraft video. So I was like, felt so rusty, and I just forgot yeah. how to make a video and so the edit was actually pretty rough and i do feel bad because like the viewers are gonna I, I get to the very end of the video and i'm like oh by the way i made this 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 and this yeah <laughs> cool you know what i mean like i just did a little show and tell at the end <laughs> i mean granted i was already at 50 minutes or whatever yeah. because we just had so much fun hanging out and, yep. and, and goofing but like actual like progress in the game uh, I did completely pretty much off camera yeah. just because I was having fun just playing Minecraft. I was like, whoops. <laughs> yeah, no, that it gets away from you yeah. when you're just kind of in that zone or whatever. And sometimes that zone's a good place to be when you're grinding. Um, you used to do a lot of grinding during meetings in the past. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd like I to still do. I got a hundred diamonds during the Hermitcraft meeting. <laughs> I don't know that why. I was leading. I don't. That's what I was gonna Dude, say. I don't know how you. I'm did running that. the meeting, taking notes. And branch mining. I don't get and it. And I got 100 diamonds during the Herbicraft How? Meeting. How? Nobody gets 100 diamonds by going mining. Fortune. Oh, okay. I didn't think Fortune that you had. Pick. I'm yeah. still rocking a, a non-enchanted yeah. iron pick. Yeah. That helped. That helped. And and I had a pretty good pick. But, um, yeah, it was, it was pretty funny. I'm like, I'm branch mining. And they're like, oh, okay, that, that's noteworthy. Take the notes. You know, for the for anybody that misses a meeting, I, they, I take notes so they can see what we talked about. Yeah. Um, and they didn't miss out completely on the information. So, yeah, that was that was that was juggling at that point. Yeah. <laughs> and we have a uh, well, I mean, at the time of this podcast coming out, we have a Hermitcraft uh, stream event weekend like starting tomorrow. tomorrow, starting tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, are we allowed to talk about like the schedule or is, there, is that it hasn't been solidified yet? But okay. we're trying, and hopefully it works out, to yeah. uh, stream together. You, me, and Tango. Yeah. Yeah, the three of us are oh, going to nice. do a collab, okay. so I'm super – He, put, I, we, I talked to him, and he's like, uh, uh, yes, and he uh, put it on the thing. So now Sweet. all three of us – so now he's got to think, what are we going to do? But I, I was thinking about it the other day. This is what, this is what my brain did, Impulse. Okay, I'm going to be doing my first Hermit Craft uh, weekend stream – with impulse and tango, that's going to be fun. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What 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 is it? What's our project? What are we going for? And then my brain's like, who cares? Right. That doesn't matter. It's the three of you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like this is going to be great. So I'm I'm whatever we end up doing, it, it's just I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah, and it's going to be super fun. Yeah, it will be fun. Uh, stream weekends are always pretty hype. So yeah, and this will be the first one of season ten. Uh, I will be, you know, by now have streamed a couple times during the week. I'm sure. You would have too. Yes, I have to. It, yeah. Unless, yeah, your roof's done. So you can roof's done. Yeah. I can get back to streaming. I can get back to all the I was still going to try to stream even with the roofing going on this week. But but it wasn't it also wasn't going to happen. You know why? Because I started Hermitcraft and I'm still working. And I'm like, yeah. and I remember was there a lot of people that put that together that, that you weren't streaming. So therefore so very you must many. be with us recording. So many. There was so like, yeah, that and that the the speculation was extremely high. Like People speculated that Skiz was going to be a part of Hermitcraft um, long ago. But it, but then this week happened to where I dropped off the radar big time. And mm -hmm. they're like, oh, that's, that's, yeah. he's in, you know? And so yeah. that was. Well, I had literally updated my Twitch stream title to be like, no streams this week. I'm recording Hermitcraft, yeah. you know, season 10. And, and so like people knew that's why I was gone. But the fact that you were also gone definitely made it kind of yeah, obvious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not, I, I can't really hide it, but 
Anyways, I, I you know I love streaming, so I'm looking forward to being able to combine both worlds oh. and do a lot of the grinding of Hermitcraft streams. You know, uh, I, I I can't I I will not commit to giving up phasmophobia. Yeah, I'm I not can't doing do that it. either. We we have to make time for that because it's too much fun. Yeah, and I don't know if I can commit to give up Lego. The, really, it's too much fun. Lego Fortnite is really okay. Fun. You're you're about to learn the hard lessons that I I learned. You gotta you gotta get let it you, go. Your plate's gonna be way too full, bro. It's gonna be way too full. I want more I, time. I know. I wanted to do more hardcore. I wanted to do more vault hunters. There's only so much you can do, especially still working a full time job. Yeah. It's, I mean, I I I think I made the joke to you, and maybe it was not a joke of uh, <laughs> you know. Say goodbye to your wife. You're about to be on Hermitcraft. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, uh, and say goodbye to uh, to sleep. You know, I, I I lost countless hours of sleep trying to juggle the full time job yeah. and Hermitcraft. And I'm sure you did this last week too, because it was the only time you could really get on where there was peace and quiet. Yeah. Um. But ooh, can you? Ooh, physically, can you even record during the night? Is that bother? Really. You have a no. You, anything, you share a wall, I think, right? Well, anything I'm doing during the night is is not really recording. It was it was just so you won't be able to actually make recording. Not not a lot of content in the middle of the night. No. I was able to do that because I had like that central office. Yeah, you know, and of course now I have I have my own like building to record in, yeah. so it's not a problem. I could come out here at three a.m. and and start screaming, and nobody would know. Uh, but I'm gonna be on sabbatical though. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so that's it what I'm saying. Th- it won't be a problem a for months. a little while. Then it will be a problem again. But it won't be a problem for a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at that while, which is a handful of weeks. And and during sabbatical, I also do need to travel to the east. So that's going to dig into it. But the first, I can tell you, the first four straight weeks is going to be four weeks of me only streaming and doing Hermitcraft. Man. That's it. That's awesome. A whole month of just producing. You know what I mean, and, and I'm and I'm just gonna. So you're gonna live to, live up to your tattoo. I'm gonna live up to the tattoo for one month, and uh, and and then do the best I can after that for uh, until if there's yeah. until there's a day I, if there's a day I can ever make a jump right. So, uh, so that's so that's what I'm gonna be doing. And like I said, the the time after that is sort of a little haunting to me, but I'm not I'm not gonna allow it. I'm not gonna miss the now, and for me, the now is the next well five weeks, but really starts a week from today you know what i mean that's yeah. that's the now so that'll be fun man looking forward to it yeah. it's gonna be crazy to see you have that much time and and like be on the server all the time yeah and, uh it's it's fun because like i don't know how it happened it, like none of this was premeditated but like you ended up next to me yeah on the, on i'm so server, happy about that you know like just the way things fell into place somehow our, our little mountain group, Magic Mountain. I don't know if we have a real name for it. Not I'm yet. sure something will come I mean, about. Magic Mountain is the you know? front runner right now. But, it, like, somehow, like, this group just ended up together. And it is, like, it's going to be a fun group. I'm so excited. Yeah. I feel a little bad. I feel like we kind of snatched up the two new guys. <laughs> you know, not meaning to, but, like, both you and Joel. I'm, like, I got you on both sides. I got Joel on one side of me and, and you on the other. I'm, I'm squished in you between did. you. You did. So you sandwiched yourself I'm in between the new, the two new guys, which uh, <laughs> I totally it just happened. You know, this yeah. stuff just happens. And the day one stuff is, is, is really nerve-wracking because, like, if you had a plan, and you know this from the Life Series, we've talked about this. If you had a plan, be ready for it to get thrown out the window mm-hmm. because you don't know what everybody's going to do. Right. And you just kind of, like, wait to see how things fall into place, you know? Yep. And... I knew I had missed the I'd missed the sign up for Ren's competition, so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hang out and see what happens with with the other people that didn't sign up, and and so it turned out that that was like Green and Green was sick, so he didn't want to sign up for something because he didn't even know if he'd make it 90 minutes being yeah. sick, you know? Yeah. Um. And and Scar probably just did the same thing I did, where we just kind of like blinked and it was like, oh, he already formed teams, okay, and so. Anyway, so we just decided just to wing it, you know, and and we just like we went off, and suddenly, you know, more people joined. Jem joined, and and we found Joel, and and, and then we found out that that Jem's her game crashed every time a falling block. Went. Yeah, like and so I I picked up a falling block. Sand is a falling block. Not all Minecraft blocks have gravity. They're actually rare. So I I grabbed some sand and. We were just joking because Green had this problem before, and he was having some other weird problem. And I was, I was just joking. I was like, you know, let's see if he crashes. And Green is so smart, man. He's so smart that when I placed the block, he logged out just to just to fake it, uh-huh. like it crashed him. 
But Jem also logged out. And I was like, well, that's that was interesting. They both had the same idea to goof. And then it and then Green came back right away. Like, nah, just kidding. And I was like, yeah, that was a good one. You got me. And I was like, but Jem didn't come back right away. Oh. <gasps> She actually crashed. Wow. So then we started screwing with Jem, and it just made for like such a wholesome, fun, you know, funny yeah. bit to start the season with. Scar was also trying to steal Doc's bell and start some stuff. We had a funny bit there. And and just, I don't know, man. Like just the the energy of starting a new season is is so much fun. Mm-hmm. And I, I want to figure out how to keep that energy yes, dude. till the very end. Cause it does. You know, as as we started getting into the the mega builds and stuff, it can be a bit draining. You know, you spend a ton of time in creative, yeah, designing the building. Then you spend a ton of time on the server getting all the blocks you need, and then you spend a ton of time building the building for the second time mm-hmm. because you've already built it in creative, and that part's kind of boring. And you're by yourself the whole time. It's very, it's very just you're alone. You know, and so like. Those are the parts that where I don't love those parts. Yeah. And so I thought, well, what can I do differently this season that that won't make me feel that way? And the idea came up to 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 do a city. And I think even though you imagine a city, okay, gosh, every skyscraper is going to be that same feeling over again. It's really not. Like the the scale of a of a skyscraper, if you will, in Minecraft compared to a building like I buy. Do you remember yes. the I buy building? Very different. Mm-hmm. Very different. A, a skyscraper would be like me building one floor of I buy, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and so I was like, oh, if I just do that, then every time I get in the build mode, it's no big deal. It's just a couple hours of my time, not a week, you know, because yeah. or more. I buy took months, I think. Jeez. And my dwarven keep took months. Like all those all those builds were just massive. And the thing was, it was like either the build's done or it's not done. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can look at it and you can tell. <clears throat> That building's not done. There's no top. With a city, every time I get a building done, the city could it's, potentially be done yeah, if I a, want it to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It should just be a small city. It's perfect. Yeah. So this is a way that I could kind of bite size build. And that way I can still lean into the 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 more togetherness fun while still creating something that's in more piecemeal fashion. Mm-hmm. Plus, I gotta be a double O to help me. Yeah, that'll be good. I don't He's, know how I pulled him into this. You got a I roped him into it. You know, yeah. it's like we get him on the podcast. And I'm like, hey, hey, but while you're while you're here, you know. How about you and I do a little thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That'll work. So he's gonna be joining me. I, I'm excited because he's already mocked up a couple builds and B O is a fantastic builder. People don't talk about him enough when it when we start talking about he's the incredible so builders on Minecraft. He's so good. He is he's just such an artist. <sighs> and uh we were obviously blessed to have him on the podcast uh a few months now back a month ago maybe anyway uh awesome guy i can't wait to hang out with him and we just we share a lot of the same humor and and just get along really well and so i'm excited to be working with him you should be he's he's uh, obviously you got yourself a ringer there and that's going to be that's going to be amazing and that's that that is the world i'm trying so desperately to navigate is i'm actually thinking about asking for help on on my my base because i don't know what i'm gonna i don't know what i'm gonna do i mean i do i'm sorry i know what i'm gonna do i don't know how to do it so I, I feel like Skiz comes off as this very goofy character uh, who is also, uh, you know, I, I like to I like to think of myself as potentially being cerebral. And and I, you know, I like psychology. I like all this stuff very much. I mean, heck, I'm doing Maslow's Pyramid. Like, I really enjoy that aspect. And then I build something. It's like, well, how come a four year old build it? <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like I, I that's too much of a dichotomy in my, my mind. I would like to have something uh a little bit more competent i don't need to be the best i don't even need to be above average just Mm -hmm. i I just so i'm thinking about i'm thinking about having a clever way because like let's let's talk about it back in the day i made (laughs) i made a structure back when i was on a server called legacy and pearl s and pearl pearl s and moon was on that server as well and i made a structure and it was just terrible and i I mean it was it was bad we got to call it what it is and and i did this whole build and i had time lapse music and all that and i just cut everything by cutting right back to my character and saying, this thing sucks, you know? And so then I was like, well, make a bit out of it. Find a way. So mm-hmm. Pearl, who's an amazing builder, mm-hmm. uh, I brought her in to teach me a thing or two. And she actually gave me some really good, she was awesome. So I'm like, I, I got to find a way to do that again. I'll bring somebody in to kind of help me design or whatever. And and I just, I got to get better. I don't need to be the best. I, I just need to, I'll settle with a lot better. I'll just, because mm-hmm. <laughs> if I get a lot better, I'm then I'll only kind of suck. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's it. Yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> I've been 10 years now, 12, 12 years now. I've been playing Minecraft, and it didn't happen overnight, you yeah. know? And I'm still 
far from being like anywhere near this the the level of Pearl and B Dubs and and Scar and, and and you name it. Joel, wait for Joel. Dude, Joel see what Joel's Joel can amazing. Do. I've Joel's, seen what Joel Joel's can do. Joel's amazing too. I can't wait. Yeah. And now now I have to live next to him. Uh, <laughs> and, and so now you know. But luckily, I got B Dubs to make sure that I don't build anything bad. Uh, and so. But what's what's going to happen is, and this is what happened with me, is you end up spending so much time with these people that have that skill set that uh, you you kind of through osmosis learn some of these techniques and you start to see things the way they see things and start to see how those colors complement each other, how these blocks work well together, how these uh, variants of the blocks can come together to make shapes that you've never thought of. I mean, uh, dude, did you see Tango's building? Did you see yeah. the, the cog on the side? Yes, I did. Like, like that kind of stuff is not something I would ever picture in my mind or even believe was possible in Minecraft. Yeah. But yet, you know, he, I'm sure, found some inspiration somewhere and then made it his own. And, um, you know, th these kind of things will happen. You'll, you'll start to see uh, that there's tools out there to, to help you come up with these builds. You know, you spend some time in creative. Now, that's going to be the hard part this season is because I don't want to spend a lot of time in creative. Right. I do not because what that means is you're off the server. Yes. If you're in creative and you're building a building and you're trying to dial it in, that means you're not hanging out with your friends on the server. Yeah. So I am going to struggle this season trying to figure <laughs> out how to balance that because I do not have the confidence in myself that I can just – go for it in survival and make it happen and yeah. make it good. You know what I mean? If I do that, I'll probably build something and tear it down, build something, tear it down, build something, tear it down. It'll be a, it'll be a, a bad use of my time. Yeah. You know, and, and we need to be, we do need to be cognizant yep. of how we, how we manage our time, especially with you with everything you got going on. So I, I, I need to figure out where that balance is this season because I, I right now lack the confidence that I could just wing a build in survival because I haven't done it in multiple seasons now. Everything I've done, I've built in creative first and then brought over to the server, you know, once I was happy with it. And in creative, it's easy. You don't like it. Uh, just scoot over and try again. You know what I mean? You don't yeah. even have to destroy it. It's create. you got a creative world. Yeah. You know, you have all the space you want. You, you have tools. There's all the tools. blocks you want. There's tools out there that fill in walls for you and stuff once you learn all those tools and and then, and it, but I, I don't want to rely on them that much this season. Yeah, but I'm still <laughs> going to need you to teach me what those are. Yeah, it's it's good <laughs> just to, like, I kind of like what I noticed Jem was doing in preparation for the season. And, and she's really smart when it comes to this stuff. Like, for, first she started off just trying to get an idea of what she's she wanted. She's another incredible builder, yeah. man. And so she went off and researched, okay, I have this idea for this style. And she researched it, put together this whole, like, mood board type thing. It's like a Pinterest board of all the different pictures that would kind of, like, support this idea she had. And then basically she would use that as a reference in creative to start doing some creative building and see if she could, like, mimic it with blocks in Minecraft. Because that's that's really hard to take a real-life thing yeah. and make it look the same in, with, with Minecraft unless you go massive. Yeah. Like, because the blocks are the way they the are. The smaller you go, the harder it is yeah. to do. Yeah. yeah. This is why I was so proud of that turtle I did in Guess That Build. <laughs> <laughs> because it was so, it was like you know what I'm talking. It was like a hand. It was like maybe twelve blocks. I'm like, this is a really good turtle. <laughs> I was really proud yeah. Of if it. You can pull off a turtle in twelve blocks. That's that's pretty good. Yeah. Like, yeah. So you're getting there. You're getting there. <laughs> but yeah, so she she spent time in creative practicing the style of build, so that now she understands how it goes, yeah. and now she can spend time in survival on the server winging it. Because she's practiced, you know what I mean? Yeah. And now she can be on the server, wing it, and still be around to have the goofs and stuff. And I was like, that's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. So I may sacrifice a little bit of time to do the same thing. I should have done it before the season started like she did. That was super smart. Uh, but I may sacrifice a day or two to do exactly that. Spend some time in creative, just understanding, you know, I'm doing like this dystopian cyberpunk thing. And I still haven't quite figured out how to make that transition happen. And so I need to spend some time, you know, kind of understanding what that's going to look like, the mechanics that are needed for that, and, like, where, when to put in glowing signs, when to put in uh, pipes and stuff that you would see in a cyberpunk world, but still make it dystopian Dystopianized. Me, Dubs, and I struggled to find a, a word that was <laughs> dystopianized. <laughs> dystopian tied. Yeah, anyway, uh, <laughs> that was a bit in our, our video. So, yeah, I, I might do that. And then that way I can, then I can get that confidence back to be on the server and wing it because that's what I'm lacking right now. And and you talk about being, you know, being having the anxiety and and, and being a little scared of of, you know, not not being at the level of the hermits. We talked about this over a year ago in the podcast. Yeah. We had a short 
that came out that was that specific segment where I was literally saying when I came to Hermitcraft, I was scared that I didn't belong. Yeah. You know what I mean? I looked around and 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 saw what the hermits do. I know what you feel like. I, I remember it like it was yesterday when I was brought on the server. I know exactly what you feel like. And it's terrifying. Yeah, yeah it is. It's terrifying because like there there's so many people around us that just have so much talent. And 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 the best part about Hermitcraft is it's so diverse that everyone's talent is just a little different. Yeah, you know what I mean. No, you're you're right, and you can you can almost see a build and be like, I know who built that. Yep. Because they all everybody has sort of their own style. Yeah. Which is which is pretty cool, and I'm with you. And I don't I would I like to have that skill set? Of course I would, but I don't I don't actually don't need to have it. I just need to, I just need to get better. Yeah. <laughs> I just need to get better. Well, let me tell That's you. All. Let me let me let me at least set you at ease a little bit. Um, cause I did, I did read through Reddit this morning. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, there's not one person that's like, I can't wait to see the, a mega build that Skiz is going to do. <laughs> you know, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like yeah. you're not getting trashed. No, Don't no, get no, me no. wrong. It's just, everybody is at a, at a baseline understanding that they're not going to come to your videos to see your build. Right. You know what I mean? So they're coming to your videos for you, which is, that should take some pressure off right there. I would think, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's easy to just be you for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it, that's all you have to do is just be you. And if people aren't aren't expecting a, an awesome build and somehow you still manage to do one, because that would be some you, icing you, on the you cake. You got some help or you learned yeah. or whatever, like you just exceeded their expectations. Because um, right now they don't have, they're not worried about what you're building, what you're going to build. You yeah. Know? In fact, I did see one comment that said, because um, I, I did in my video say that I'm going to be doing Maslow's Pyramid. Uh, and, and somebody had said, there's no better, what did they say? This, this, what did they say? They said, there's no more of a skiz build than the, the build he's going to do. Meaning you can't just build something like it's got to have this like psychological mm -hmm. undertone to it. Like, and it was yeah. a compliment when they said, and I'm here for it. And I thought that was nice. pretty cool, but I just, I also don't, I just whatever. I'm not, I, it'll be, I don't want to beat myself up or whatever, but I also just don't want it to suck. So yeah, I'll figure don't it out. worry. There's enough people around you that, that. Like we'll help each other out. I I had some issues where I had no idea how to terraform, and so Scar just pulled me aside and was like, "I'm gonna give you some uh, some quick pointers, some uh, just just tidbits, you know." And you just start to osmosis, man. You just take it in. Yeah. And, and now it's like, okay, I I oh I get it now because like everything I was doing was like straight lines and and you know had to be you know perfectly symmetrical and all this stuff, and that's mm -hmm. not. That's not the way terrain works. It's you know, there's right. no symmetry no. in the Minecraft world generation. But yet I'm I was trying to force symmetry just because my brain likes symmetry. Yeah, you know, and, and that's like when you say people recognize builds. Like somebody did a post on I spent too much time on Reddit this week. Apparently, <laughs> somebody did somebody did a post on Reddit that said um, categorize hermits by their style of build, mm. and and they had mine nailed. It was it was like they're like impulse. It's gonna be clean modern symmetrical yeah and they nailed it That's like true. everything i do i i can look at it i can I, when i build something i could be like i only need to build half of it because i'm just gonna mirror it yeah <laughs> to make it symmetrical you know what i mean and so you know oh, the city's not gonna be symmetrical we're not gonna have the same exact buildings you know next to each other or whatever so this is gonna push me a little is bit the city itself gonna be symmetrical like the the, the plot of the land? plot is a 200 by yeah. 200 but the buildings that go in it are all going to be different sizes um and we laid it out to give that like skyline perspective where like the taller buildings are kind of in the back you know and off to the side and the shorter buildings are in the front but even them have variations in in the footprint of them and, and even the heights and stuff and the colors and and so we've we've got a B Dubs and I have an image that that we're like referencing to to make this this happen. That's gonna and look so good, dude. When he mocked up that first build, I mean, my mind was absolutely blown because he used the most basic blocks. You know, like the it's dystopianized, right? <laughs> Whatever the word is. So we wanted to keep it kind of bland until the cyberpunk shows its its face, which I I haven't explained quite yet how that's gonna work. Um, and so he, he came back and he's like, okay, so I made this building, but I made it out. I made it look dystopian because it's like grayscale. And these are all blocks that we could get like in the first week if we wanted to. Mm. I was like, whoa, dude, that's really smart. And, and the build's fantastic. It's fantastic. Wow. And, and so now I'm just like, he does. When are you going to build that, dude? I can't wait. <laughs> <You know? laughs> like I'm waiting for him to break the ice and he might be waiting for me to break the ice. It's, it's another thing that we got to beat up and I have to figure out our cadence and, and how we work together and, and all that still, because 
yeah I, I i don't know but it'll come together yeah i, I can't wait that's good man well i'm also looking forward to you and i working on something there's something oh yeah there's something there there's well there's several somethings there but um, did you get a dm from zf by chance uh when in the I last day I, or two i well i i did a bit with him yesterday Okay, so he hasn't talked to you about his idea? No. You're getting pulled into something that's going to be fantastic. Let's go. Yeah. See, yeah. and I'm game for yeah. it, man. ZF hit me up, I think, yesterday, and he's like, hey, I had this kind of wacky idea, and he gave me a, the idea, and I'm like, that's a fantastic idea. We're doing that. And he's like, what about you know bringing Skiz in? I was like, yes, yes. I can't wait to see what this Skiz is. In because yeah. you will absolutely crush your role in, in this bit that we're going to do. So, yeah, there's going to be a me, you, and Zed thing. That sounds probably amazing. that that's gonna happen. So he's he's figuring that out, and I'm excited about that. There's so much going on, so much going on. You know, me, you, and Tango. We're gonna do the weekend stream tomorrow. Um, but there's also been some talk about maybe getting like the Friday nights going again. Oh come that, on, that's potentially there. I told you you're never gonna see your wife again, right? Dude, it's <laughs> if she she'll be fine with it. Actually, <laughs> what's funny is her and I were uh, hanging out in the pool uh, many 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 months ago. Obviously, in the summer. And uh, this was before the invite had come, and and I said, you know, if I ever actually get an invite to Hermitcraft, you you know what that means? She said, I do. You know what I mean? And she's like, I I get it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it was but it was also, it doesn't have to be forever. You know what I mean? If this turns out to be, it can be permanent, then great. And then then it doesn't turn into that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right now, it's just it's just the way it is right now. But uh, no, she she's she's aware. But this is great. This is all. I'm not complaining. This is all great stuff. And I'm excited to see uh, what I, I literally I want to be on the server right now. Yeah, that's been <laughs> that's been my struggle this week is like when I threw all those hours of like raw footage into the timeline and I was like, OK, I got eight and a half hours. I need to skim through and figure out what's actually making the cut. And I was like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't want to do it. I mean, for a couple of reasons. One, it's been a, it, I had a month and a half off of editing videos yeah. you know what i mean like i hadn't touched a video editor in a month and a half and i was like dreading being so rusty at editing I, and i was i was a slow editor editor to begin with like i'm i i i can't watch it at five times the speed to catch it, it just like stuff goes too fast and i can't catch it so i end up watching maybe 2x I do 2X. sometimes yeah um I, uh, yeah, I can't th anything faster than two X. I, I can't. Like, I don't even get audio. Yeah, if I right. Do that. I can't. Yeah. Fa I can't tell what's going on. Anyway, yeah. so you know, for that, I did eight, eight and a half hours. I try, I mostly watched it eight or two X. So that meant I at least got it on like four hours and fifteen minutes or whatever. But then you you constantly are stopping and 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 really just trying to get the clips just right. And and there's a lot of times I do I do this a lot now, and I, I didn't used to do this where I will stop mid sentence. Because I'm not sure how I want to finish the sentence. So I'll, I'll be in the middle of a sentence and just stop talking, think about it, and then finish the sentence. And then I splice them together. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I do that a lot now. And Why do you do that? Just because uh, otherwise I, I would have to start all over. The, the you start all, all over. over. Yeah. So I'm, I stop doing that. I, I start all over. And I do it a lot. Like, and, and it's very helpful. I'll be, I'll be walking. I'll be like, so I want to take these trees. So I'm going to go ahead and take these trees. I'm going to move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these trees and move them to the back so it fits it, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it just sort of, like, you're piecing it together in your head, and as soon as you're like, yeah, that take was the one. Yeah, but I don't know. I've been doing this for, like, the last six months to a year maybe where if I don't know how I'm going to finish, I'll just I'll just pause, and then I'll think about it, and then I'll finish. I'll I'll replay what I had just said. Can you stop so that your I, character from moving? Uh, some, no, sometimes I'll just move, and there'll just be a jump. <laughs> This will be a jump. You'll just see me like mid sentence jump from here to there, and like nobody's ever said anything. All right, hey, it's <laughs> so, working. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. As I, so I, I have to catch those moments and splice them perfectly, yeah, so that you don't, so it's not jarring. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because I do think a lot of people passively watch these videos. Sure, you know what I mean? Like it's on second monitor, they're doing their work, you know, and so when you don't hear that change. You know, then it doesn't. You don't even think about it. But if you were staring at the video, you're like, "Wait, he just his character just jumped forward." 10 yeah, blocks. yeah. You know, How did you're, that right, you're right. You know? and I've done. I've actually done that too, but for different purposes. There was like a, a certain segment to cut out for whatever reason. So I, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Anyway, I, I've been. I, I was terrified to get back in into editing, and but the the, the main the main part I was going to say was because I knew. I was at least going to be taking 
half a day to maybe a full day to edit. Mm-hmm. That meant I'm not on the server for a full day. Yep. I hated that yeah. part. <laughs> I hated it. I just wanted to be on the server. And the thing was, being on the server wasn't necessarily productive. Like you yesterday afternoon. Yeah. We were just hanging out yes. in, a, in a group. I wanted to talk about that. So we were just hanging out in a group, just you, me, Jem, Scar, uh, and Etho, mm-hmm. and then and then Tango at the very end. And Cub came in too. And Cub, and Cub, yeah. and uh, yeah. And uh, we were just talking and having a good time. And because it's proximity, we're all just sitting there. And I'm like, I actually, I need to, I need to be doing work. I'm like, can we all jump into a group? So we did. So we jumped to a group so I could kind of go away from you guys and yeah. still do some work. And uh, and I remember being like, this is this is very very enjoyable because we're mm-hmm. having a really good conversation. Nobody was there to even make content. Right. We were just having a good yeah. conversation. Turns out I should have had the camera rolling because I spleefed myself <laughs> and I fell. And I got to tell you, dude, you cracked me up. I spleefed myself <laughs> and I was falling and my brain was like, "You're a professional Minecrafter now, so you got you got to see. If you do have a water bucket. Good for you, buddy." Why don't you put that water bucket in your hand and see if you can place it right before you? Like, this is all happening. I'm falling for a long time, screaming the whole way. I managed to actually put the water down and still died. Like, I still can't figure that out. But I got the water down. (laughs) Dude, (laughs) you said (laughs) impulse goes. That was a long fall, man. I was just like, hit the ground already. <laughs> that was so funny because I was like screaming for a long time. It was a long, it was a, it was a long scream. I thought that was pretty funny, man. Hit the ground already. I was like, man, how long is this fall? Like, just, the, stream, the scream just kept going. I was like, he's going to run out of air. Uh, but I wasn't recording. But I did get, but, but Jem did have replay mod on, so I might try to find a way, but that has no audio, so... I think you might throw me your audio file if you have it. Yeah, I think you you have. The, yeah, you know. I set up a. Uh, so I after the after the first couple of days, and I noticed that my files were just absolutely insanely large, uh, which makes it it does it does stress the editor the editing software uh, a lot more when you have a hundred percent it does two hour long clips. Yep, and you, you, your timeline's eight hours plus of footage. That's why I cut every like, hour. It, it is really hard to um, to navigate the timeline because it's just so much information for it to yeah. to deal with and. Um, anyway, so I was like, I'm not going to do that again. You know, like uh, this week I I did it because I felt like I should have the camera rolling all the time because there's going to be so much energy and things are just going to be constantly happening. I better just have it rolling like all the time. So I literally, if I was on the server, I was recording. Yeah. Like the recording was on. I wasn't, I wasn't necessarily on air quotes. You know what I mean? I do get it. So, but I was ready in case anybody just came up. So I was like, I got to figure this out. And so I, I, Got in my office one morning and I sat down. And I was like, "There's a way to do this. I know there's a way to to make to solve this problem. I don't want to always be recording, but I don't want to ever miss a moment because that's a that's that happens. Yeah, you know. Oh, you know, somebody set a trap and I fell for it and I wasn't recording. Dang it! And there's a, there's like I just blew it as a content creator. So I was like, "There's there's a way to do this." And I started looking into OBS's um, OBS is a recording software, and it has what's called a replay buffer. And so I was like, okay, let me, let me see what this does. And so you turn on the replay buffer, and basically it's just a, a constantly keeping the last. And you can define how long you want. Um, I defined like four minutes. Uh, I said, keep a replay of going of the last four minutes. And it's a rolling save of the last four minutes of everything you're doing. And it's constantly just rewriting to, to, wow, to RAM. It's using, it's using your memory, your RAM, right? So that it's, it's yeah. you know, not whatever. It's, it's not having to write and delete and write sure. and delete. Um, and so anyway, so now anytime something happens within the last four minutes, I can just, I hit a button. I actually use my foot pedal because <laughs> I love my Elgato foot pedals. Mm-hmm. Uh, if something happens and I'm like, oh, that's, I need to save that. Boom. Hit my foot pedal. Replay saved of that last four minutes. And then I can at the same time hit record if it's going to continue. You know what I mean? Wow. Like, I like see somebody rolls up on me and, and, and we start talking and I realize it's good. I will hit record and then boom, save the, the okay. replay at the same I'm time. Sold. So now I have a technical solution to never miss moments, and that's yeah. what I did with yours. Um, you're like, you're like, oh, I wasn't recording, and and Jem's like, well, I got the replay mod, and you, and you said the same thing. Oh, that's great, but I don't have audio, you know. And I was like, boom, hit my foot pedal. That's now good. you do. Now you do. Sold. Yeah, so, I'm gonna do it. So I, and I brought that up in the meeting too, and and like straight away, um, like the next day. B Dubs is like, dude, I took your advice. I set up that that replay buffer and it saved me. Yeah. It saved me. I had a clip that was I would have missed if it wasn't for 
for you giving us that solution in the meeting. And I was like, yeah. I All like, right. I'm I in. like being the technical guy that solves problems. Uh, <laughs> that's that's my role. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you, put it nicely. you have yours. <laughs> that's mine. Yeah. <laughs> so that's good. Okay. We'll hook you up. I'll show you how it's done uh, once we're done uh, recording this podcast. But anyway, so yeah, now that's gonna be I think that's gonna make my life much easier to where next week I don't need to spend so much time editing. I'll be able to to be on yeah. you know, I won't miss that full day like I did this last week. Because yeah. man, I just I had so much I had bad FOMO, you know, the 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 fear of missing out as I was editing. I'm like, man, there's probably people on just having all sorts of fun right now. And like they could be going on these adventures that I didn't get invited to because I'm not on the server, you know, yeah. and uh, and I was like, I just want to be on the server 24 seven. I know, you know, I know I want to be there right now. So let's have a great season. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, it's, and, it's uh, surreal, dude. I, I know we nuts. said it in the video, but it, it is so surreal to have you next to me on the hermitcraft server it's been you know the goal i i i don't oof, i don't admit this enough but <laughs> this entire time i've been doing this youtube thing in the back of my mind i've always felt a little bad because i knew it was you that needed to be in this world i, I this wasn't it wasn't my dream growing up to be a content creator mm -hmm. but here i am but i know for you, it's your dream. It's tattooed on your arm. You know what I mean? And so the whole time that I've been coming up in the content creation world and the YouTube channel has been doing well and stuff, I was like, this is great, but I really, I, I would give anything for this to be Skiz instead of me. Mm, that's... And I just, I just wanted, I just wanted to, you, for you to have the chance. And, and now I feel like this is it. Like, you know, we've done a lot, but this is, this is it. This is the big one. You know well, I, mean? I appreciate that. You sure, you sure feel like you're uh, meant for it. I'll tell you that. It feels like that to me, like you're meant for it. So that's... Make it till I make it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and any that's really kind of you to say. So here we are, and now I'm not. So I have no interest in squandering this. Obviously, I'm taking a sabbatical, so uh, to do it. So I'm very, very excited. And let's. I'm. I can't even begin to express. I mean. The whole thing you just told me, I can't wait to, to wrap up this podcast so I can talk about the thing that Zed put forward. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm super pumped you're about love it. it. And if you remember last week, we recorded, we actually recorded uh, one podcast last week mm -hmm. and I had it done by like Sunday, midday Sunday. Yeah. I'm like, I have to give yeah, my you every, sent yeah. me You sent me the, the note. You always do an update. You know, here's where I'm at with the editing of the podcast. Here's a, you send a screenshot for the thumbnail that you take as you're editing. You're like, oh, that's a good spot. Yeah. Okay. And you send me that so I can do the thumbnail. And you said it to me like Sunday, and I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Because usually it's Thursday night. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. <laughs> and, and I get up at 6 a.m. on on uh, Fridays to do the thumbnail so that we could have it ready by 7. And and you sent me this Sunday. I still uh, got up at 6 a.m. and did the oh, thumbnail. You're anyway. the worst. <laughs> even, <laughs> even though you gave me all week to do it. Anyway, um, so, yeah, you sent it to me super early, and I was like, whoa, what's you're getting ahead of it, huh? And you're like, yep, got to make sure that my focus is on Hermitcraft yes. this week. So it's like I have no, I don't have a choice. Like yeah. with everything going on with work and everything, it was just, I worked, yeah, it was Sunday. I was, I worked like all day Sunday until I had it done. I'm like just done and dusted. And I'm nice. likely going to do the same thing with this one. Nice. Right. But uh, okay. Hey, let's wrap it up. Let's have a great season. I'm literally, I'm, I'm pushing us because I want to see what Zed said. Okay. Like it's killing me. Yeah. And then the monitor came down. I want to see, uh, we don't know what the check, count check, is. Go ahead. Check. Check your, check. Let's see what his sub count was. We said it at the beginning of the podcast, right? What was right? it? I forget. Uh, 95,400,000? <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Something like that. 95,400, uh, I think is what it was. I have no idea I do, I do know how numbers work. Okay, people, come on. I know, of course I just, you do. I was, I was, uh, my head was somewhere else as I was saying that. Oh, man. Okay, so it's now at 96,065. Wow. That's so over cool. a thousand subs since since we started recording this podcast. You are you are that's called blowing up, my friend. Less than four uh thousand subs away from the hundred thousand. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Maybe by the end of the day we'll be Maybe. we'll be celebrating your uh you hitting a hundred thousand milestone, silver play button be coming, gold play button will be on its way in due time, my friend. You you will you I'm will just get there. Live right now is what I'm gonna yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. It'll be okay. good, man. Okay. Let's do it, man. Let's have a fantastic season. I can't believe I we get to hang out with my buddy on the Hermit. I know. Server. I just want to get back to so work. So much now. fun to come. All right. Well, that that was uh, one heck of a week for us, as you yeah. could tell. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos. I mean, 
If you if you watch the podcast and you don't watch our Minecraft stuff, that's absolutely fine too. Yeah, um, of course. And, and these must be kind of weird for those people. Yeah, <laughs> to the point where I feel kind of bad. So like, <laughs> but this was, I mean, this was about this was a big deal. You yeah, know? yeah, absolutely. And so, my roof looks great. That's good. I felt like saying that. That's good. They did such a good job. And your wallet's it. so much lighter. That's oh, that's great. That one hurt. Okay. That one hurt a lot. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but that's okay. It had to be done. That roof was over 30 years old. It had to be there done. There you go. Yeah. All right. And it rained the it rained literally like as they finished. Yes. Which is you know, I was gonna say you have such bad timing. That one actually worked out in your favor. They yeah. got the roof done and then it rained. Yeah, it was crazy, <laughs> man. And uh, so I got lucky uh. there. Anyway. All right, we will see you again next time and uh, again, let's have let's have a killer season. Let's do it. See ya.